There are more than 4,100 caves in Virginia, and many of those right here in the southwestern part of the state. While the caves are interesting and fun to explore, cave enthusiasts trying to educate everyone about health problems that could come from the way we're treating those caves. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live to explain the problem we're seeing. Yeah, and it has become a big problem when we went to check out some of these local sinkholes. Almost everyone had been filled with garbage at one point or another. Now, many of them are cleaned out now, but even years later, some of these sinkholes, like Percolator Pit, are still nicknamed because of the garbage that was found inside of them. Percolator Pit is a narrow sinkhole, as you can see there, but at one time it was stuffed full of mattresses, trash, and even an old percolator coffee machine, hence where it got the name from. Now, as part of Virginia Cave Week, organizers are hoping to change the way people think about these natural wonders, because what goes into them can eventually impact our own health. The trash and the garbage in the sinkholes is a conduit into the, uh, into the, the water table. Uh, it's a direct conduit. I mean, it's not filtered through gravel or sand or anything. It goes through canyons and, and little rivulets and, and right into the water table. There is water down there that ends up in our drinking water. So just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not going to impact you. Now, this is the Catawba murder hole, a cave that started as a sinkhole until the top layer collapsed in, revealing what was underneath. Even when exploring areas like this, cavers say they never leave anything inside because without sunlight to help the process, nothing is biodegradable on its own. And this cave, the murder hole cave in Catawba, was huge. We pulled up to it and it was basically flat so you couldn't see anything. We got out of the car and walked over. I mean, it is just ginormous. We have some pictures <laughs> online of our photographer standing next to it on across the other side and it's crazy. Yeah, when you put yourself next to it and you mm -hmm. see it in comparison, I mean, you really see how massive it is. Yeah. Don't fall in. Right. <laughs> don't, don't look down if you're afraid of heights either. Right, exactly. <laughs> Fascinating story, Erin. Thank, Thank you so you. much.